Okay. Uh, thank you for everyone uh, for uh, coming this afternoon. We'd like to make a, a plea for some public help about some incidents that occurred overnight and also to uh, outline to you the police response uh, to what was a terrible murder uh, in the early hours of this morning. Firstly, um, uh, late yesterday evening and early this morning, we understand there was a series of skirmishes and confrontations between groups of men in the CBD. Uh, some of them were aware of and others were not. And we're asking for public assistance if anyone saw it or filmed it or uh, now realises that it may, it may be uh, helpful to us. Um, at about 2 a.m., um, a reasonable sized group of men uh, were seen running out of Sia Ferner Lane, uh, just off Morfitt Street, near Hindley Street. We don't know why they congregated there or where they ran to, but some 10 minutes later, it led, uh, um, we believe, to a murder which happened on North Terrace, uh, down near West Terrace, um, at the Western End. Uh, the circumstances of that murder are that the attackers ran down the victim, and when he fell, he was stabbed while he was on the ground and uh, assaulted. Now, what developed after that was um, a rapid police deployment was put into place, and it led to a vehicle uh, being searched outside the Quest Hotel, a uh, motel, in um, Franklin Street. As a result of that vehicle, and as a result of going into the hotel and checking the rooms and identifying um, persons of interest, Police were able to arrest seven um, persons that have all been charged with various things. None of them have been charged for murder, but the seven that were arrested, uh, two of them were being sought for the Nairobi stabbing a few weeks ago, back in March. Uh, one of them had a bench warrant for uh, a violent offence. Um, another one was wanted for an aggravated cause harm on the 21st of April. So he was caught up with. And then three others were charged with possession of knives and a baton. They were confronted by a rapidly deployed star group um, team who um, uh, was able, they were able to uh, convince them to disarm themselves and they were arrested for weapon offences. Then, not long after, um, a vehicle that was stopped in the CBD near Poultney Street, um, there were two vehicles actually, one there and one elsewhere, uh, Collectively, six people were arrested from those vehicles. Um, they were arrested and charged with weapons offences, knives, uh, and a machete. And in that vehicle is also uh, what we believe is evidence that may be of value to um, the investigation, certainly the murder, and certainly uh, of the events as they rolled out uh, during the early hours. So a large team of detectives from Operation Meld, from uh, Major Crime, from Eastern Adelaide, and from other places at the moment are uh, all uh, assessing the evidence uh, and uh, scrutinising the circumstances so we can um, um, get to the bottom and identify these murderers. The victim, I can say, of the murder is an adult uh, in his 20s of no fixed place, but the identification is not confirmed at this stage and that's where we'll leave it until we have the traditional methods and, um, uh, of, of, of identifying that young man. Um, I'll take questions for a few minutes. Where was that second vehicle that you mentioned? Where was that stopped? There was uh, one in Sia Ferner Lane. I think you've got vision of that one. And uh, the other one was at the intersection of King William. Uh, sorry, was sited on King William, Wakefield and Poultney Street. Was that a blue coloured car? Uh, yes. Blue Holden, yeah. Um, Thank do you. you believe that these people are from, obviously, police have been at a number of um, accommodation places throughout the city. Do you believe these people are from interstate or a lot of the people involved in this are actually from interstate? We can't rule that out at the moment uh, because um, generally it's no fixed place of abode until, you, uh, until we have to work it out uh, for ourselves because it's um, uh, uh, full of uncooperation at the moment. Do you believe any of these people are members of the 051 gang? Well, they've named themselves these uh, gangs. They're, they're certainly part of the groups that are fighting. Um, or whatever name they give them, I don't acknowledge, don't acknowledge those names. I'm not uh, briefed on that. But uh, they're certainly part of the gangs that Operation Meld has been focusing on. 
Uh, and it's unfortunate it's come to this because for some time, uh, whilst there's been incidences, they've been few and fewer. Uh, and now it's erupted to this last night, which uh, quickly the police were on top of it straight away. The deployment of all the resources in the space of 20 minutes was quite impressive from our position and the leadership on the ground to be able to um, come out with 13 arrests and we're, we're satisfied we've got that situation contained until we work out what's going on. You say no one's been charged with murder, mm -hmm. but uh, is, are you still looking for the person who was actually responsible for the stabbing? Well, we don't know and Major Crime will make some announcements about that in the uh, few, a few days to come, so I, I don't want to go into the evidence of the murder but I'm satisfied that 13 arrested uh, off the street for weapons and violence, all of whom we will be opposing bail in the coming days, and all of whom except one are adults. And you expect to make further arrests though in relation to the murder? I can't rule that out, and as it's specific to the murder, I'll stay away from that and let um, Superintendent Bray will speak to that in the next few days. What is the age, as you mentioned that all but one are adults, what's the sort of age um, Groups of they're, they're all, the youngest and the oldest. What's the they're all in their early twenties, except one. But media section will release those details to you straight after this, so you have all that. When it comes to the victim, I know you haven't confirmed it yet. But is there a threat to the wider community, or was he known to the other parties? The working theory at the moment is this is a incident between two groups that know each other. Uh, the threat to the public is there because. Uh, when they confront each other, look what happens. They've got bladed weapons, they've got uh, other weapons, and the threat is also there to the frontline police who respond quickly and not always in numbers, and sometimes we're, we're, we might be outnumbered until... So the, the threat to public is there. So what's the response then? This is a pretty serious escalation of what we've been seeing. How are police planning to respond to this? 13 violent people in custody. That's our first step. Um, so we're satisfied that the main aggressors and the v most violent ones of these are in custody at the moment until we work out who will be charged with what. You said that there were a series of skirmishes throughout the city. Um, by that, do you mean that there were skirmishes inside pubs and bars? Or was it all outside? From what I understand is there's, there's a couple of skirmishes outside on footpaths which haven't been caught by camera and we're interested to learn whether they are related to this group or not. Being a busy... Sunday night, early hours, they could be unrelated, but they could be. So we're, we're hoping people will explain to us what they saw so and we can work out. Or well, anywhere in the CBD, there was one in particular on King William Street um, that uh, we think might be related, uh, uh, resulted in a robbery, but it might not be. But again, un, you know, lack of cooperation. Whereabouts on King William Street? Are you able to sort of give us a more precise location on King William? I can't, but I will after. Uh, I need to make a phone call, yeah. Do you plan to have more police out in force um, over the weekends to try and prevent incidents like these from happening? We won't wait for the weekend. The escalation of resources has already started. Um, so there is an enormous amount of police that are working on this case right now, on the brief of evidence and with a view to solving the murder and laying charges. Uh, but the, the rapid response and deployment is a plan and whenever we think there's going to be an incident like this, they are deployed, you as you saw last night. Do you fear that now someone has died, there could be further acts of retaliation between these two feuding groups? These are people with uh, no purpose um, who uh, react with spontaneous acts of violence. Uh, there's always a risk uh, of that, but hopefully we've got the right group in custody. Do you expect more arrests today? Uh, I can't answer that. Are you working with community leaders to try and get on top of this too? Yeah, the important thing is that the, the, the community and, and their leaders, they want the same as what SAPOL wants, is social cohesion. Uh, they are very, very um, are supportive of us and us of them. They understand. Uh, these young men have um, difficult and complex social settings and we're trying to assist them as they assist us. So it's a very difficult situation, but uh, the community has been fantastic, and particularly their leaders, we can't speak highly enough of them. Some members of the public have estimated that there were 20 to 30 people involved in these brawls. Is that about how many you would understand were involved? Last night? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, certainly there weren't that many in the uh, final act of the murder, uh, but during the evening 
uh, we're trying to piece together who was involved and that's why we're asking for assistance uh, so we can piece it together because no one is actually coming forth and painting a picture for us unfortunately. Does it appear or, yep. Does it appear that this was organised between the two groups? Have they specifically come to the city to clash heads I suppose? I don't think it was an appointment to fight. I think with uh, on, on the limited knowledge that I have of it at the moment and with their social media and, and, and seeing each other spontaneously, it's just led to this. There was nothing that gave us the position or the view that they were uh, coming to fight at that spot at that moment, no. So social media may have led each other to, to, to each game? I don't know what I'm saying is, and uh, we're looking at that, is how do these groups of men move across a CBD with 300,000 people and then manage to find each other? How does that happen? They must be communicating. Okay. Um, just the fire. Fire. Sorry, yep, yeah, quickly. Do you still believe it's suspicious? Or? Well, let me, let, let me clarify. Suspicious in the terms of it's unusual. Um, it's not suspicious. We're not looking for an arsonist. It's not uh, suspicious in the terms that it's deliberately lit. But the circumstances are unusual, and we're leaving that to MFS and SAPOL Fire Tex uh, um, before we can announce what it was. It's just unusual. Um, but, Sorry, a car was seized. Can you give more details about why that car was seized and how it's related to the... Oh, oh, sorry, I'm not aware of a car being seized. Uh, but what, what I do want to say about the fire was the amazing effort by uh, MFS and the people that they saved uh, and the way they saved them. And also the frontline police officers that went there, they had to get some treatment themselves. They will put it at great peril as well. I mean, I think there's seven people in hospital. Uh, I don't think there's any life-threatening at the moment, but certainly... Um, uh, the ferocity of that fire and the position where it was up high, I think the first responders did a, a, a great job. Um, smoke alarms didn't sound. Is that being investigated as to why they didn't sound? My information is that the smoke alarm is what led the fire brigade and the police there. The details of that, I've seen what's been reported. I, I, I don't know, and I'm not in a position to go into that. Um, are any charges likely to be laid? And if so, what sort of charges... Again, I'm not familiar with the brief, and we need to first establish the cause, and then they're going to have to work from there, and detectives will need to know the cause first, and then they can assess that. But it's a good question. Uh, if there's charges there to be laid, they'll be laid. And um, people have said that they heard yelling and thought it was potentially a domestic violence incident. Is that part of your investigation? No. Okay, sorry. I've got to get to another.